Okay. Yes. Um, in uh, I always um, uh, teach or talk in uh, very simple way. I always say, people, we need to make a difference, and the Buddha and the Buddhism. And uh, Buddha is look like person, and the Buddhism is look like mirror. And through of this mirror, we need to see ourselves. In in the Therefore, Buddhism is not more than mirror, but we not try to be mirror. We try to use mirror to see ourselves, try to discover ourselves. And um, we not try to be Buddhism. We not try to become Buddhism. I know many people say, I mean, we use this kind of word, say, hey, I'm a Buddhism, I try, I try to be Buddhism, or I'm a Buddhism, but uh, it's Buddhism is look like marrow, or Buddhism look like medicine. Once you, we believe, once you enlightenment, you don't need also Buddhism. You don't need medicine once you be healthy, once you see yourself so clearly, you don't need a mirror. Therefore, I always say people, don't follow Buddhism and just take Buddhism as a help. I always say, don't follow Buddhism and to learn with Buddhism. Learning and the following is the big difference. Therefore, in the Buddhism and especially Tibetan Buddhism, I think very suitable in this modern world and especially in this 21 century. Buddhism not courage to following or follow. And we create to learn. Once you follow in Buddhism, I say Buddhism maybe become your poison. Once you're learning with Buddhism, Buddhism is become your medicine. But sometimes uh, you know, in our East world, in East, sometimes we have such kind of problem. We are following, but we are not learning. In the, in the West, yeah, they don't want to follow in any kind of a religion, I think, mostly. That is a great. Because they don't want to follow in, and they also don't want learning. That is also a problem. However, in Buddhism and the Buddha is different. Buddhism, we believe we all have Buddha nature, not only uh, Buddhism have Buddha nature, Buddha nature beyond the Buddhism, Buddha nature beyond human beings, Buddha nature have all sentient beings. We have Buddha nature. That's very good, but that is not enough. We need right path or we need right method to discovering in the Buddha nature. Remember, uh, 
we all of the human beings, we all want to be happy. We want many things. We want many things, but we want many things, but and we really want to be happy. Yes. And we don't want many things, we don't want many things, but and we don't want to suffer. Yes. Nobody need to teach uh, to want in happiness. Nobody need to teach don't want to suffering. Want in happiness beyond the religion, beyond the culture. Uh, don't want to suffering beyond the religion, beyond the cultures. This is our foundation. This is our nature. Therefore, I'm sometimes thinking, you know, uh, Buddhism is the teaching of the nature. What is the real, Buddhism is the teaching of nature, the teaching of the, our nature. What is our nature? Yes, we believe our nature is the happiness or love or peace or enlightenment, whatever you want to call it. Now, we believe our nature is not suffering. We have a good nature. We don't have bad nature. Conclusion, we have a happy nature. We don't have suffering nature. This is nothing to do you be Buddhism or not. This is nothing to do, yes, to be your Buddhism or not. This is nothing to be your man and woman. This is nothing to be your good person or bad person, no matter your nature, you like or not. I hope you like, but <laughs> all our nature is the happiness, is not the suffering. And how we know that? Uh, because we all want to be happy. Your Buddhism, and you still want to be happy. Your Christianity, you still want to be happy. Your Muslim, you still want to be happy. You believer, no believer, you good and bad person, no matter who is, you everybody wants to be happy. Why everybody wants to be happy? And nobody teaches to do that. The answer, because happiness is your nature. And nobody wants to suffer. Not to be called, I mean, nobody wants to be suffering. Nothing to do with the Buddhism, nothing to do with Christianity, you know. You know, not only Buddhism don't want to suffer, also Christianity don't want to suffer. Not only Christianity don't want to suffer, also let's say Hindus also don't want to suffer. Nobody wants to suffer. Why we don't want to suffer? Because suffering is not our nature. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we all have a basic good nature, what you call Buddha nature, or diamond nature, or whatever you want to call. Yes. But until we don't discover our true nature, until we are searching, until we are searching, until we are suffering and exhausted and lost on loneliness. Yeah. They have uh, many reasons to we are, they have many reasons to we are not to be happy, but they have one most important reason why we are not happy. Because our, because we don't realize our true nature. What is our true nature? Is happiness. Until you don't discover happiness yourself, until you're searching happiness outside of yourself, until searching happiness outside of yourself, until you find the suffering. 
And nobody, nobody, nobody searching suffering. But everybody found different way in the suffering. Everybody searching happiness. Searching happiness is become suffering. But how we stop to search in happiness? We want to be happy, but we are not yet happy. Then it's the automatically you interest, automatically you want to search happiness. Until you're not happy, there's no way to stop to search in happiness. Until you don't discover yourself is happiness, until you're not really, really happy. To discover happiness in you or discover happiness yourself is the teaching of Buddhism. Therefore, this kind of a teaching is a need in this world and this kind of teaching is very suitable in this 21st century, I think also especially in the Western world. And the one thing in the very special in the Buddhism, um, Buddha say, Mahsura Moshe was, they don't ask, don't give answer. <laughs> Means uh, until you don't ask, let's say generally, I'm sure they have some exception cases, but generally we don't teach you. Therefore, it's very much, uh, uh, what to say, without asking nobody give you answer. Therefore, in the Buddhism, is we always believe and question is what you call uh, question is not the Buddha, but question is possible become uh, a replace of the Buddha. In the question in the Buddha herself, also in the Buddhism, especially in the Tibetan Buddhism, especially in Nalinta traditional Tibetan Buddhism, give very, very higher values. And the question is to always make we a better person, question always make a better society, question always make a more healthy society. Therefore, it's important <laughs> what to say uh, uh, to have a question. And uh, I'm sure question bring some answers, but this answer maybe become also question. And then, you know, and this way, and you more and more discover through of the question, and you more and more opening your mind and the heart, everything. I think some kind of, a, some maybe some kind of, a, yeah, some people or some philosophy, whatever, they feel the question is a threat. Question is not something good. Yeah. I think until you don't have a question, maybe they have a right answer, but answer is never receive you without a question. In the Buddhism world, we don't see is a question is something bad. Question, we don't see something negative. And we see in the question is something very positive. Therefore, especially Tibetan Buddhism, Tibetan Buddhism means Nalinta, tradition Buddhism, is very much allowed to question anything, teaching and the teacher include Buddha. Yeah. 
Yes, in uh, what you, I want to say, without question is difficult to understand understand but question is not make you have a realization but question make you understand i think before you practice any kind of path you need to have some basic understand once you understand then you go to practice Therefore, I'm not to say question make you have a realization. Just the question, I don't mean question make your realization, but the question help make you understand it. To realization, you must need to meditate. Meditation is the only way to have a realization of the true nature. Thank mm -hmm. you.